The AG HPX600 is the newest member of the P2 HD camera recorder range. This two-third type camera allows professionals to use their existing HD or even SD two-third type lenses. Marking a milestone in technology developments from Panasonic, our engineers have developed the camera in line with a new user-friendly concept. Considering the positions of the connectors, the user interface and the possibilities to tailor the camera with a range of hardware and software updates. As of now, the HPX600 is the world's lightest two-third type shoulder camera, weighing in at only 2.8 kilograms. As mentioned before, there's a range of hardware and software updates available for you to customize your camera to meet your needs. Let's first take a look at the sensor and the way the camera was designed. Then we can go into the details of different options available. And finally, we can talk about the future of the camera, Micro P2 and AVC Ultra. The body of the HPX600 weighs only 2.8 kilograms, with a low power consumption at only 18 watts. There's no requirement for a fan, that means there's no noise. To understand the evolution, let's compare the weight and power consumptions of different camera bodies. The HPX600 has a new 3 megapixel 2 third type MOS sensor. This sensor has been chosen because first, Recent developments of MOS technology means that the roll and shutter effect have been minimised. Second, the need to lighten the camera for news and TV usage. And finally, being able to offer a two-third type camera at a very competitive price is opening up a whole new set of markets. The single sensor has another advantage. The prism filter used to separate the primary colours has been removed, and as a result, the optical defects have disappeared, flare and attenuation. Let's have a look at the main innovations linked to the two-third type single MOS sensor. The compensation for the rolling shutter defects from a panoramic camera movement of 1920 pixels per second. The slope of the vertical lines is only 1%. This effect is hardly visible. Another effect linked to the rolling shutter is the flash band effect. Here's what happens when a flash is triggered. The flash band compensation function allows the camera to detect the flash and to modify the luminance of the images in order to fix the flash band effect. The sensitivity of this camera is F13 during a regular test at 2000 lux. It also has a signal to noise ratio of 59 dB, a 14 bit analog to digital conversion and a 20-bit signal processing. Let's now have a look at the gain on the image. The noise generated by the gain stays low even up to 12 dB. We benefit from the cine light gamma, the chromatic aberration correction and the dynamic range stretching functions to optimize the image characteristics. There's a new function, the low light mode, which allows sensitivity gain of one and a half times that of the normal mode. This low light mode switches the camera into a different state, equivalent to a gain of 9 dB, that optimizes the signal processing of the captured image at low light. In other words, if you work at 9 dB or more in the normal mode, you might want to switch to the low light mode at 0 dB. The viewfinder of the HPX600 is both an LCD screen and it's a viewfinder. 
It has an 8.76 cm LCD panel with 920,000 pixels and a very fast refresh rate. Two models are available, the CVF10 with one pivot point and the CVF15 with two. The CVF15 also comes with auto flip picture, switch guard, etc. To help you focus, a focus assist button allows you to have a zoomed in picture in the viewfinder. This function can stay active while recording. Let's take a look at the connectors. There's one SD, HD, SDI output, an optional SD or HD, SDI input, one Genlock input, time code in and out, SD or HD, SDI monitor output or PAL, one RJ45 network connector, one HDMI output, one four pin XLR 12 volt power input with an output. For the audio part, we have an XLR at the front, one slot for a two channel wireless receiver. We have two XLR inputs at the rear, as well as two monitored RCA outputs. The audio levels can be set from either the front or the back of the camera. There is a protective slot for the Wi-Fi dongle and also a host and device USB slots. Three user keys and finally one SD slot and two P2 slots that will soon allow you to record video onto micro P2 or even SD cards. The smart user interface is a very innovative new way to input camera settings providing several advantages. First it gives you quick access to basic settings that you used to find in the menu at the front of the camera. For example, the video output format or the color temperature settings. In each menu, the eight keys that surround the LCD screen have a different function, depending on the page that is active. This makes the camera very flexible, since a simple firmware update will allow you to add more functions to the interface. Note that there is a home button that allows you to go back to an initial page with a press of a button. The lid at the rear protecting the settings has disappeared. We now have a lock switch that lets you lock the keys. Let's now have a look at the current available options for the HBX600. First hardware option. The YA600 is an SD or HD SDI input card that allows your camera to capture and encode HD or SD signals into any available codec in the camera, like a standard video recorder would do. The second hardware option, the YDX600 proxy recorder card, record low resolution images at low bit rates. The images are recorded onto the P2 card and can also be recorded at the same time onto an SD card. Proxies are encoded in H.624 and is wrapped in QuickTime file format. Several profiles are available, the best quality being 960 by 540 at 3.5 megabytes per second with two 48 kilohertz uncompressed audio tracks. Finally, Proxy enhances the camera further when equipped with the Wi-Fi module, the AJWM30 and the first of the software key options, the network interface, the AG-SFU601. When both options are installed, it becomes possible to establish a Wi-Fi or LAN connection with the camera from any PC or Mac or even an iPad or iPhone. The camera supports up to three simultaneous connections. From your internet browser, it is possible to have access to the camera information, such as camera status, time code, card and battery life. You can also check the camera and lens settings. It's possible to control the recording. The proxy contents of the cards can be watched and even downloaded. And the streamer function lets you see from a distance what the camera sees. It's also possible to enter metadata into the camera before or during the recording and to modify it after the recording. One last software key is available. The production option, the AG-SFU602, adds variable speed capture 
and the ability to output 24 frames per second via the HD-SDI connection. The 24p recording format being available as standard Early 2013, Panasonic will release Micro P2 cards. As the name suggests, these are small P2 cards providing the same write speed and the same data security as the standard P2 cards, but in a small form factor of the SD cards. The price will be about 40% lower. From 2013, the HPX600 will be able to record onto three different memory cards. Their P2 card, the micro P2 card and the SD card. In 2013, we will introduce the adapter for using micro P2 cards into a regular P2 slot. The HPX600 supports DV, DVC Pro, DVC Pro 50 and DVC Pro HD, along with the new codecs AVC Intra at AVC Intra Class 50 AVC Intra Class 100 codecs and also AVC Proxy. A DVC Pro codec range based on DV technology, equivalent to MPEG-2, will eventually be replaced by our AVC Ultra range in H.264. The HPX600 already supports several H.264 codecs, AVC Intra Class 100 and Class 50, as well as AVC Proxy with several bit rates between 1 and 3 megabits per second. The family will be extended in 2013 with additional codecs. One at 25 megabits, the AVC Long G25, at 422 10 bits, full HD in H.264 for a quick workflow. One at 50 megabits per second, the AVC Long G50, again 422 10 bits, full HD, H.264 for production. And finally, AVC Intra Class 200, again 422 10-bit for mastering and archiving solutions. The HPX600 has been designed with these new codecs in mind. The presence of these two generations of codecs, DVC Pro and AVC Ultra, on the same camera makes it versatile, future-proof and with unrivaled performance. The HPX600 is available now, and for further information regarding the options, please contact your Panasonic reseller. The HPX600 has a five-year warranty with a premium service, including a five-day repair, on-location pickup and delivery.